So I, like we talked about in the description how I wanted to get into the Route 7 accidents very briefly since we're kind of way over on time. They appear to at least be down year over year. And I guess the segue we're making here is that, you know, the the the, the problems that are happening in the state are, are problems that are happening at, when it comes to everything the state touches, including Route 7. But it appears at least that accidents on Route 7 in Milford are down year over year. This is 23. So I asked the chief to give us some statistics comparative year over year. So as of last year... They, we had 1,282 traffic accidents for the year. That equivocates to 3.5 accidents a day. So far this year, we've had 811 accidents. There's 316 days of the year so far. So that averages out to 2.56 accidents a day, which is less than last year. But because we're aware of the accidents, it makes it much more in tune. Now, is one accident too many? Absolutely. So what he's talking about is something I've dubbed the plane crash effect, and you guys can check that out here on my YouTube channel. Again, on the side, you can see the series I have on philosophical concepts. So if you guys just go to my channel, it's Catherine Phoenix, all one word on YouTube. You guys can go on to uh, playlists, and under playlists, it'll say philosophical concepts. This is video five out of 14 entitled The Plane Crash Effect, um, <clears throat> which is something along the lines of, in brief, um, the, your, the reason that you hear about this isn't because it's common, but in fact, maybe because it's not common. It may be because of the fact that you're, you hear, the, the reason you hear about it as often as you do is because you hear about all of them that happen. With plane crashes, you hear about every single plane crash that happens. That's why it makes it seem like they're happening all the time when in reality, the safest way to travel per passenger mile is by plane. Now, there's a caveat that needs to be offered with this data point that Pete's presented, and that is that this is a single year. So a single year is not a trend. You would need multiple years to develop a trend. It could be that 20, the 2022 numbers are the anomaly. It could be that the 2021 numbers are anomaly. Now that and the anomaly. Now that said, last year was 2021, and we know that the number of miles people were driving on a regular basis, the number of passenger miles driven in 2021 was significantly down, in part because of what was happening with COVID. And as someone who lives in Willow Springs, I'm very much aware of the infamous nature that that intersection and that strip that comes along with that, that intersection and that strip of Route 7. There should probably be a stoplight there with all the traffic going in and out of that condo complex where I live, that I go in and out of. So for, the, for those who are wondering why, it isn't, why there isn't a stoplight there, well... Uh, some of the things that we found out, and I've talked to the Senator-elect and also our other representatives, some of the things that we are looking to do is, first of all, we've asked for an additional traffic light uh, at Willow Springs. Uh, DOT has been very hesitant because that was supposed to have been put in by the developer. Hmm. That never happened. Uh, I have explained that that is a dangerous area, as we've seen by the many accidents and fatalities within that area. So we're going to continue to work with them as well as Western Council of Governments and our state representatives to see if we can do something. And nothing will ever be done about it. Why? It's because Route 7 is state-owned and run. And yes, they're dealing with a schmuck developer that has, has full-on, that has a notoriety which is not good, infamy rather than fame, here in New Milford. But what that means is because we're dealing with the state and that developer who is folded. What that means, as Chris Cosgrove explained, nothing will ever be done about that. This is why you should be demanding devolution. This is why you should be demanding consent of the governed. And that's only going to come with devolution. That's only going to come when you say as a town, we are not going to let Hartford rule our lives. We here in New Milford know what's best for us here in New Milford. So those decisions should be being made here in New Milford. Hillary, if you're listening, this should be the entire reason for opting out of those provisions, for those zoning provisions. That and nothing else. It doesn't even matter what those provisions are. They didn't originate here. They aren't going through our process. They, they aren't exposed to the voters in our town. 
So we should be opting out. Demand devolution, demand consent.